Hey everybody, welcome. Andrew Ames with Golf Academy here. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in today to watch the video. I've got another Ping G400 product review to talk to you about. I need to show you this one. This is the new Ping crossover. It's exciting, it's different. Let's get in the hitting area next door and show you how this thing works. So, the new Ping G400 crossover. Let me ask you a question. How many of you out there have got the original G crossover, the black coloured head rather than the, uh, this matte coloured satin finish, which the new model is, which we'll show you in a minute. I had one, still got one, which I've used off and on. The crossover, for me, was a real love-hate relationship club. I either hit it unbelievably well or unbelievably badly. I didn't find there was a lot of middle ground ones. I really wanted to light the club, but I just found it hard work to hit. This new crossover, let's give you some little close-ups of it, looks quite similar in shape to the original crossover. It's a little bit more friendly to look at, but there's a lot more going on inside it, which makes, I think, a much more different club to hit entirely from the original. Let's give you a few snippets. The tungsten weighting. We've got this Maharaji C300 steel face, which is going to promote faster ball speeds, higher launch, and 30% more stopping power. Okay? Upgraded the acoustics, so it just sounds a little bit more solid, not quite as pingy and clangy as the original G did. 20 gram weight of tungsten in the toe, which increases the forgiveness, uh, reducing, resulting, sorry, in 17% um, tighter dispersion. So it's definitely a more forgiving club to hit. What else can we tell you about it? It's got a thinner hybrid style of sole, so the banks and camber were reduced in the sole to achieve a more consistent turf interaction. Good words, aren't they? The premium hydropool pro finish reduces friction by 40%. So this is the hydropool finish. Um, Iron-like um, gearing. Forward CG placement helps generate 40% more spin and 45% less shot bends to ensure straight, stable trajectories. Flatter face performs with iron-like efficiency and sets up square and is easy to align. So there we go, there's the tech. All very well talking about this stuff, isn't it? And looking at numbers and looking at diagrams and all these claims, the proof for me is in the hitting. Okay, ready to hit some shots with this Ping G400 crossover. I've got this in a number four, it's the 22 degree loft. I've got a regular Alta CB shaft fitting in here. I don't have any stiffs at the moment, so I'll have to make do with the reg, which will be absolutely fine. And I'm just going to have a little play with this. So I'm going to experiment with some different shots. So first shot I'm going to hit is off a tee peg. And I'm just going to see what this gives me. I'm intrigued to see how this is. It looks behind the ball so much more friendly than the original crossover did. That's my first impression. It looks hittable. The original crossover used to scare me. So really, really solid strike for the first one. That just felt fantastic off the club face. Really good hit. Bring you some numbers up. Got a lot farther than I expected. Uh, blimey. So 93 and a half miles an hour club speed, 203 carry, predicted run out 220. I did, did kind of get hold of that one. 3600 spin. 15 degree launch angle that was me hitting that pretty much flat out so very very powerful let's have a little play around now with some different sort of shot shapes going off the deck I'm now going to try and hit myself a little bit of a sort of a slidey cutty one if I can not an easy shot for me to hit being a natural draw of the ball so I'm going to try and uh, just Start one up the left with a little bit of a little bit of fade. There we go. Blimey. 
anyone think I'd set this up? This is all happening first takes. I'm, I'm cut and pasted all this in. This is a great club. I've just tried to swing that one a little bit sort of out to in, just slide the club face across it, got the ball starting a little bit to the left, cutting back on target, managed to take the distance off there as I changed the strike, 188 carry, 201 predicted, slightly higher launch but a lot more spin. See the spin rate going up, so that's going to stop a little bit more on the, on the green, isn't it? Okay, so really versatile club. I feel I can do all sorts with this. I'm now playing an elite course, okay, somewhere in the UK. And the wind's blowing an absolute hooli, as they say. And I want a low flighted running shot. Maybe I just want to find fairway, yeah? So I'm going to move this ball back in the stance and I'm going to try and hit like a low stinger. See if I can get this thing really chasing on. Quite a short, sort of punchy swing, this one. Oh, just turn it over a little bit. Got the flight. Probably this, this regular flex is just giving in a bit on that because I, I did go after it. But the point of that was I can get the ball flight right down on this one. As you can see on the trackers, just turned it over a little bit, got the launch down at 10 and got that thing running out. So this club's impressive. So much easier to hit for me than the original crossover. I feel I can do things with this which, you know, give it the versatility that I'm looking for. It comes in a three as well. I think it comes in a five. Three, four, five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So, superb. For people who may be looking for an alternative to a hybrid club, a genuine hybrid, this crossover really fits the bill. I love it. It's great fun to hit. It's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a cracker. So, I hope you found that um, review of this crossover helpful. If you are thinking about getting a crossover, as always, go and get a fitting. Go and try these things first before you buy them. Um, compare it to maybe the standard hybrid, see which one fits best for you. Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe button just down there. Give that a click. If you think the video is any good, give us a little thumbs up as well. It's been a pleasure doing the video and I'll be back soon. All the best. Bye for now.